Hello, good evening. Good evening, class. How are you doing? Are you ready for today's session, Angie? Hello, hello. How was your day, Angie? Painful. <laughs> Did you say painful? Oh, painful. that ear surgery you said. I, yeah. I see. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Have you taken any medication or any medicine? Yeah, really? yeah. Uh, uh, ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. I, I will. I will profen. I will. I will profen. Okay. Okay. Nice. I mean, I'm glad because that's going to help you a little bit. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, welcome, guys. Well, it's nice to see you again. It's Monday again. I really hope you had a great weekend. Uh, thank you so much for connecting on time. I really appreciate that. Today we have, um, well, this is session number five. And I saw a message on the chat that one of our uh, staff sent a message reminding you about the performance, right? The completion of the platform. So that's, uh, I mean, they said, or they were saying that we have to be on section number two, right? So that means that today, or maybe this week, it must be this week, we are going to go over section three, right? So I don't know how you guys are doing. Have you completed section two or you're still in progress checking section two? Uh, you can open your mic to talk to me, to tell me about your experience, or maybe you can um, send me a message on the chat as you would like to. What's your case? How are you doing on the platform? Or do you have any questions that I can help you with? Are we fine? Nice. If that's if, if it is easy. I have uh -huh. a question. Yeah, what is so, it? I was working in the section number three, and it's a, a specific part that I type my answer, but it said that it's gone. And I don't know what happened with that part. Mm -hmm. Section number three, which uh, part exactly is that? Uh, uh -huh. Number is it there? It's on in number three. Number three, okay, let me yes. check. When talk about Johnny Depp. Let me, uh, let me see. Second, please. Johnny, let me just let me look. Oh, 3.4, is that the one? Okay. Ah, we haven't seen this part, but it's interesting. So, well, it talks about adjectives, right? And then we have to distinguish what's the difference between ing form and also we have to differentiate or distinguish what is the ed form right based on your understanding when do we have ed ending and when do we have ing emma i understand that but in the instruction said that we have to use ed plus i don't remember exactly verb b and plus ed with the verb and i type exactly what it said but i don't know what happened right but not exactly ed or ing that would depend well basically if i say that is ed it's because a temporary action right ed always will describe a feeling that's temporary but if it is ing it's because that's the way something is so in that case if you see if it says johnny that it's a very amazed actor it wouldn't make sense because uh 
we are describing how this person is. Therefore, the best answer would be amazing. Like if I say to you, you are amazing, that is describing your personality. That's the way you are. But then if I say you are amazed, that might be because you saw something nice and that's basically you know, making you feel or be amazed. So I think the key in this exercise is to identify if this is something temporary or just a feeling, or if it is the way you know something or someone is. In this case, my suggestion is this. If it is Tony Depp is a person, then you want to say that's the way this actor is. So put it ing. That's going to be the answer. That must be the answer. And let's see if I, there's one. Now, let's take a look at number three, just to give you an example on this. If it says, I'm not, if you write, I'm not interesting in science fiction movies. So that one, it wouldn't make sense because you are just saying that, uh, this is a feeling or this is a temporary situation. You, you have to say, I am, in, I am not interested in science fiction movies. You cannot say I'm not interested because you're not describing yourself. You're just describing a temporary situation or feeling. So I think um, we can talk about this or we can go over about this if, if what I said doesn't clarify in the next classes, okay? Because as of now, this week is going to be for uh, section number three, Emma. And maybe the other ones are saying, what is he talking about? We're just talking about, because, or maybe some of you already are working on this exercise too. But then um, this week, we're gonna go over this specific section in which we're going to describe or have these uh, differences between ED and ING and these in adjectives, okay? So I really hope this helped a little bit, Emma. If it doesn't, uh, just give me like one or two uh, se se sessions and then we're gonna go over this, okay? Um, okay, now let me go back. Let me go back. Well, I can see now we are connected more. This is, how many are we connected? Okay. Let me share the screen really quick. Did you do your homework, guys? Today you had a homework. Yes, you did? Okay, great. If you didn't, then uh, you might wanna start doing it now. I'm gonna give you some time. Okay, let's see, one second. Let me start sharing the screen. Um, well, today's section is session. We're going to still talk about section two. There are some things that we haven't gone over yet, but last time I asked you to write a story. There's a huge difference between story and a history, right? Today is about story, something short, something that you want to share. And, but I said something else. I said, okay, write about, write a story, but then make sure you apply the endings, right? That was the, the idea. And who would like to start sharing, guys? Mm -hmm. Anybody? So we can uh, start, you know, accelerating a little bit, and then we can move on to, to section number three, which is for this week. Anybody, I would like everybody to participate because I want to hear how you pronounce it, the endings. So raise your hand and participate, please. me a favor send me on the chat if you did the activity what was the activity it was to write one story with ed endings okay that was just the homework and then i said if you don't find any story on the net you can create your own one i can see angie already created hers right angie has it send me on the chat if you did it just send yes if you did it and no if you didn't
If you didn't do it, guys, why was that? Was that because you didn't understand? You think it's too easy? Or you think what you just didn't want? You didn't understand, it was too easy, no. Para que voy a hacer esto demasiado fácil. Or you didn't want to do it. What was the case? Marvel, Alejandra, Reina, Genaro, Wendy, Stephanie, Melissa, Emma, Jenny, José, Peña, Gustavo. Están dor dor dormidos, están, están viendo la novela. What are you guys doing? Solo es una horita, come on. Una horita nada más. Dios mío, my God. It's just an hour. Imagínense, una horita nada más. What is your purpose? Do you want to speak English? Porque si estamos en intermediate three, eso me hace pensar que tenemos todavía un trip to, así como que un journey to, to, to follow. Cuando yo escucho intermediate three, yo pienso que falta intermediate four, intermediate five, y después vamos a advance, advance, y luego nos vamos a certifications. It's a long process. Pero si usted me dice, no, estoy entre mí de tres, porque yo quiero estar aquí, si no, para speak really good English. Entonces, haga así un placement test y diga, no, yo voy a ponerme en otro más avanzado que me rete más. Vaya, Jeffer, yo le invito que escriba la tarea. A mí me ayuda bastante. De repente tengo muchas cosas que hacer y yo sabía que no le había mandado los verbos ahí lo tenía pendiente hoy temprano me levanté para estar más tranquilo lo mandé al grupo pero sabía que tenía eso y las clases no las he querido mandar porque este, no quiero adelantar material que las tengo ya todas creadas pero creo que lo vamos a hacer I'm speaking Spanish you know they might be saying to me don't speak Spanish anymore but then let's see let me read some comments I don't understand did you because large time I don't ah Stephanie Stephanie, listen to me, please. Listen to me. Listen to this. Listen to me, because if you don't understand, Stephanie, ask, please. If you say I don't understand the homework, don't be afraid. Raise your hand. Hey, teacher, hábleme más despacio. Yo no sé qué está hablando. Say something. Di algo. Porque si usted no dice nada, yo creo que usted está, está aprendiendo. Es un error asumir, pero de repente yo le digo, ok, reina, dígame algo de que este, y si no me dicen nada, yo pierdo, que dormido está. Ok, it's, it's just an hour, come on, ok, it's part, it's part of the process, part of the process. Bueno, entonces quizás solo Angie nada más hizo la tarea. Vaya, entonces, guys, pongámosle, miren, yo digo esto, pongámosle un poquito de amor a las cosas, ¿sí? Y no es que sea cursi, nada por decirlo, pero hagamos un poquito de amor y de, de disciplina. Y he aprendido que hay que ponerle, mire, mente y corazón. Okay? English needs this. English is a matter of practicing. Okay? Um, and then, now let me ask you some questions. When do we pronounce as T, as in tango? Which sounds do we apply T sound? Uh -huh. Let's see who remembers this. And this is really important. I'm telling you, this is really important. When, it, when do we pronounce ED as T? Let's see. Let me, somebody, ED as T when? Marvel didn't understand the task. Marvel, come on. Si yo soy más, más albaoreño, usted pregúnteme. Ask, ok, que usted. Entonces, ask me questions. Let's practice. If you don't ask me, yo creo que usted está entendiendo. Yo creo que y si le pregunto y nadie me responde. Ok, so let's, let's focus on the objective, please. What's the objective? The objective is to speak English, to understand it. If we don't understand it, then we have a problem. 
Okay, let's see. I didn't understand the task. Somebody, somebody raised the hand. What is it? Uh -huh. Go ahead. It's about the uh, some vibrations, right? Yes, it has to do with vibration. Mm -hmm. But then T, when do we pronounce T as, when do we pronounce ED as T, T as in tango? When? Which sounds? When is voiceless sound? Good. Which are the voiceless sound? No, teacher, yo no me la aprendí así, yo me la aprendí de esta manera. Okay, it's okay, but I want to hear it. I want to hear it. Porque esto es importante. It's important. It's pronunciation. Algunas expectativas al principio fueron, I want to learn grammar. I want to learn how to pronounce it, blah, blah, blah. Entonces, miren, we have to commit. Tenemos que comprometernos con sus compromisos, okay? Y lo digo. The sound is when... Two vowel is together. Voice level or not? Two hmm, interesting. Well, I want to say no because vowel sounds are considered voice, voiced vowel sounds. Okay. Thank you for trying. I appreciate that. What do you remember? I gave you this. If you can say, hubo alguien de ustedes? Este, me voy a arrañar que suena en español, ¿va? pero hubo alguien de ustedes que mandó una, una, una captura en el grupo que me parece apropiada. Yo le dije, I le, yo le escribí love it, porque esa foto es la que yo siempre ando utilizando. I like it. No, uh, no, no. Ah, now, okay, Jose, come on, Jose. Okay, somebody sent this. Alguien la mandó ahí y dije, wow, this is great. And I'm glad somebody did it, okay? Um, so, then, take a look at this. Take a look at this. Y yo les mandé ahí y les dije, si pueden imprimir estos verbos, do it. Entonces, guys, do it. Yo sé que no, no, es, no es, quizás a nadie le gusta que le digan las cosas, pero... Es exactamente Angie. You see? Okay, I veo Hosman también. Excellent. Great. Now, we need to understand that this is important, guys. And that is, the, that is why I'm taking some time to talk about this. Okay? If you want to speak English, you need to dedicate to it. You need to have discipline and maybe think about what motivates you to keep you know, learning the language. Maybe Angie will say, I want to speak to my relatives in the United States. Maybe Javier will say, no, teacher, I'm traveling next month. So what motivate you? Because there's some motivation, you're there learning the language. Whenever you want to give up, whenever you feel tired, whenever you feel as if uh, you don't want to continue, please remember the main reason why you are studying the language and the benefits that you're going to get from this okay okay that's what i'm that's why i'm telling you and insisting on this all right now um tomorrow i'm going to check this homework i know maybe angie did it i know i think only angie did it but then tomorrow you prepare a story and make sure you apply ed endings that's it if you don't find us the story you know, if you don't find it, create it. Okay. Let me uh, let me show you some. Let me see if I can show you right now. Second, today's topic is about um, adverse. Okay, this changes. You know the story. <laughs> One second. Let's see. Here we go. Second, want to share the screen, but it won't let me do it. Okay, here we go. Any any story? Yes, yes. Any story? When let's say as long as you apply ed, fine. That's it. 
If you say I'm gonna apply easy endings, it can be a it can be an invented story or it can be a story you found on the net. I bet if you only type on the net a story with ED, we're gonna find many stories because I have seen many. And then, but then what about if instead of looking or just getting one that is already done, you create your own story? That's it. And then last week I worked. See, worked very hard that I made a lot of money. I decided, and she decided to spend this money on clothes. My father talked to me, talked to me about this. And, and then you're looking for a verse to use the sound. That's it. Okay, that's all I want you to do, Wendy, in class. Okay, for tomorrow. I'm going to leave some time tomorrow, and you share with me, you say, Hey, this is what I did. I'm gonna be very happy listening to your story. We don't have much time, guys. We need to move on. I was I was telling at the beginning that if you have questions about section one, uh, please ask me. Okay, in regards, you know, the exercises. Okay. All right. Now let me move on. Today is section number five. We have, uh, you know, the present perfect continuous, and this is still part of uh, section number two. And well, let me see one second. What do you know about present uh, perfect continuous? What do you know about that? What is it? Uh -huh. Angie, tell me, please. Uh, in the verb have ing. Okay, that is correct. And how do we create a present perfect symbol? I see, uh, Jeffer, uh -huh, tell me, Jeffer, please. Teacher, I remember that the, the structure is when we use the auxiliary have and the verbs are in ing form. Okay, I like it. So now we have Angie said ing, and then Jeffrey says we have the verb have. What else do we have here? If I can, you give me one question or one sentence with the present perfect to see if you maybe you already know this, but maybe you don't know the name of it. Can you give me one sentence if you know what this is? Present perfect. Uh, I have been living in El Salvador for uh, all my life. Yes, yes, Reina, thank you so much. I, I have, have uh -huh. go ahead. I have traveled for you, traveled. I have traveled, okay. If, if I say I have traveled, I have traveled, that is fine, of course it's fine. But then there is, this is, uh, if you say I have traveled for, I don't know how many years, and then that will be present perfect simple, right? But the difference between present perfect simple and present perfect, present perfect continuous is when we add the, the auxiliary been, been. Like uh, I think Reina said, I have been living for, and then you have auxiliary have, then you have, then, and then you have the verb in ing form, right? Emma, go ahead. I have a question about the correct pronunciation of that verb. The verb in past participle is been or been? Been, been. That's a good question, and that's that's a question that I'm always ask. Is if you see a phonetic, or if you see for like the symbols in the IPA, which is the International Phonetic Alphabet, is not E, it's E, it's been, been. Because if you say being, it's like Mr. Being, right? Or what you eat, you know, E, E sound, and then it's been, e, been, been, been. And this is, I remember my, one of my teacher, he's an American, he used to say to me, don't say being, because being is like what you eat, but then it's like been been it's like i have been living been been okay so how how can you prove this go 
and look for the IPA and see what it says. The IPA, guys, is the um, International Phonetic Alphabet. It's how every word is pronounced. But then um, if you say, I have been, people will understand. Of course they will understand. Even American people understand. However, there is, you know, they will say, oh, the, that word is mispronounced, but they know what you are referring to. So I would say, Ben, Ben, what have you heard? What have you heard? What, ha what have you heard about this word? How do you pronounce it? What's going on? The one we're discussing, Ben. How do you say Bing or Ben? Bing. Bing. I Bing. Bing, but I have heard about Bing. Like double, um, double, double, um, double, like e, e very, like e, Bing. Ben or Bing? Bing. 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 Okay, let me, let me Bing. see if I can can share with you this what I'm saying I'm telling you because this is a good question and this is a question that is always asked because I understand you know and the, the, the reference that I can give you is the, the the IPA this is let me see okay I think I'm gonna share I think I said this to you in the very first class that I was gonna share you know on a way to be checking pronunciation like this one let me see. And there's another, another thing that we have to we have to consider, guys. Um, and this is this is the one if the pronunciation is American or if it is British, because that changes everything when you are pronouncing something and it is um, in American way or if it is in a, in a British way that changes that changes. Because I remember this teacher and she was. And she was an American, of course. And she used to say, Ben, Ben. And then uh, maybe all Latin teachers, they say, Ben, E. But then uh, that's the way, you know, people will say it. I'm just looking at this and exactly, I found it um, as I'm saying, like the vowels in Spanish, we have five vowel sounds, but then in English, there are more than 20 sounds, okay? <laughs> And that's why maybe we have this. Mm -hmm. All right. So now um, I thought that that it was. Can you pronounce it, Jeffrey? Please pronounce it. I want to hear it. Pronounce it. Teacher, uh -huh. uh, been, but I doubt that it was been. Mm -hmm. But you say uh -huh. that it's been. Uh -huh. I cannot show you right now. I'm just taking a look at the at the at the, at the what this this uh this is a website standardized, okay? And it says I'm I cannot share it with you, but I I can send you the link later. So you see, it's not the common e. No es la e clase que la hacemos larga. No es la e que le ponemos e. Es una I que es corta. It's been, been. I guess I have the description. That would be the, the ideal. So I've, I've been, I've been, been, been. She been. has the been shorter. working. Uh -huh, exactly. So the shorter you do it, the better it is. Entre más corto el sonido, mejor. Been. Okay. Been. Okay, creo que ahí es el punto, okay? So, well, thank you so much for asking that. Okay, I, that's, yeah. that, that's, uh-huh. What's in the name of the website? Ah, uh huh. Twophonetics.com. Okay, thank you. Yeah, there's an application. I love this application. And then, um, well, as have, uh, I don't know if you have noticed this, but dictionaries have an IPA reference. Check that and be curious on this. Uh, every dictionary has one IPA um, reference and they give you words to better, let's say, uh, provide examples uh, to which sound, to which sound every word is related. So maybe 
you know, if you like symbols, because uh, there are some dictionaries that they have symbols in how to uh, represent, you know, each maybe sound or vowel sound or consonant sounds in English, you can do it. But then text me or send me a message, I can send, you know, this info. There is an app and there is a website suggested and uh, trustworthy, all right? So uh, thank you so much for asking. So once again, let's conclude on this. This sound is short sound, then short sound, short sound, very short sound, not long sound, because being, it will be like, no frijolito, right? Sure. What we eat. Teacher. Uh -huh. Sorry, can you please write the name? Yeah, of course. Let's see. Two phonetics. That's the word. All right. Okay, now let's um let's take and these two phonetic has the two pronunciation. That's interesting. Eh? And American, American and British, you know, and British, British. Whenever you are looking at this one, make sure you click on um, American. The thing is that American is the, the English we are more influenced by. Okay, like for example, this is just an example. I remember that one of my friends, he sings really good English. He speaks really good, but his accent is British. So he went to apply to work at Sykes. Sykes is a call center, guys. He wasn't hired because of his accent. You see? And just because of the accent is that, you know, some people might not like you, you know? Okay, so give me one sec. Okay, all right, sorry. I just had a you know, really quick inconvenience here. All right, let's move on guys. Thank you so much for asking those questions. Now uh, we need to, let me see, let me share the screen. And we have, uh, this is our, Class for today, we have some adverbs, but I, I don't know if you already completed that section. If not, I'm going to share with you right now the, the website just for you to um, access to, to that part. Let's see, one second. Um, there's one section that has some adverbs which need, needed to be checked if they are neutral or if they are positive, I think. Let me see, one second, here we go. Here I have them. Mm. Let's listen to it in case you have read it. Fine. If not, let's listen to it. Here we go. Hi, this time we'll talk about some adverbs, which are often used in storytelling to emphasize that something interesting is about to happen. Which of these adverbs are positive, which are negative, and which ones are neutral? Coincidentally, Fortunately, luckily, miraculously, sadly, strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, unfortunately. Okay, from these adjectives, I don't know if you did it already, but I always suggest writing these adjectives, these adverbs down. Adverbs, guys, they modify the action, they modify an adjective, and even another adverb. They modify the intention, right? Uh, or they make emphasis, you know, on the words most of the time. Now, uh, from these ones, which one is your favorite one or which one is the one you say, I, I don't like this because I, it's hard for me to pronounce it or this is the easiest one. I need some opinions. Open your mic and talk to me about this. Maybe this one teacher, I like this one because I didn't know it exists or you talk to me, please open your mic. Locally is positive. Okay. 
Okay, miraculously, right? Is possible. Any other? Miraculous. Okay, Reina. Sure, what do you mean? Or suddenly? Suddenly. May that call us. Mm -hmm. May that call us. Do you like that one, miraculously? Okay. Mm -hmm. And what is suddenly? There is another way to say all of a sudden. Suddenly. What do we say? Uh, I, I hear people saying this. Um, what is the word for suddenly? People, uh, I don't know, if, but it's very common, maybe in my town, but I hear people saying de presto. But that, the, the right word is de repente, right? So suddenly is this word. Suddenly is all of a sudden, like all of a sudden something happened unexpectedly, but then uh, that's suddenly. The, another, word, another way to say suddenly is all of a sudden, okay? Something that happened unexpectedly and quickly, that's suddenly. For example, I was driving back home on my car, and suddenly there was a car accident. You weren't expecting this to happen, but suddenly. Okay, what's another one you like or you don't like? Which one are neutral here? Coincidentally. I agree with you, yes. Coincidentally. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, is that positive or negative or neutral? What do you think? Positive. Yes. Neutral. So I would say, and I want, I want to respect this. For me, surprisingly, it would be, uh, well, for me, surprisingly. But then for some, I say, no, but this is neutral. So this is about perspective. And then, but uh, surprisingly, it's more like something positive, right? It's, but then what about, uh, let's see, sadly, oh, that's, that's obvious, right? Sadly, yeah. Yeah, right. Unfortunately, uh -huh. Fortunately, it's, it's, well, fortunately, it's positive. Or, and then the one that is negative is the other one, the last unfortunately. one. Unfortunately. How do you pronounce this? Unfortunately. It's not unfortunate. It's not, it's not T. It's ch, like unfortunately. And unfortunately, unfortunately. Okay. Right. Okay. Very good. So let's see, and let's move on. Then I do want you to write this adjective on your um, notebook. And then tomorrow when you share your uh, stories, maybe you want to like add from this vocabulary, okay? Because this is for storytelling, right? And then I want you to write maybe your story based on your ideas, adding these uh, adverbs, okay? If you can do that, that'll be Great. So now let's sure. move on. Yes, go ahead. Sure. Uh, there is a question in chat of this part. Let me see what the question. How do you pronounce coincidentally? Yeah, coincidentally. That was, I can't turn on my mic. Coincidentally, coincidentally, coincidentally. It comes, it comes from coincidence or coincidentally, coincidentally. Let me tell you something. When you have the, the adverb L-Y, you pronounce it as separate, separate sound. So coincidentally, fortunately, like Lee, miraculously, sadly. So this sound is Lee separated all the time. Strangely, suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly, and unfortunately, Make sure you pronounce the L-Y as separated sound, okay? That's the way it is pronounced, okay? So let's see what else we have. Well, now let's move on to our topic, today's topic. And you were, uh, well, saying some ideas and I want to start with that. Let me now share the, after the albers, we have um, some, let's see, this is, this is, we have one text here. I think you guys can see it, right? 
can I have some volunteers to read this conversation, this dialogue? I need only, let's see, Pete, Gina, and that's it, two people. Okay, Stephanie, and one more, please. Who else? Thank okay. you, Andrea. Okay, go ahead. Stephanie, you start. Okay. Hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in age. What have you been doing lately? Um, nothing ex exceeding. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving, saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. 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 I am working a full time modeling career. Really? How long have you been been modeling? Science. I gra I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job, so I am almost out out of money. Interesting. Thank you so much, uh, girls. Appreciate that. Okay, uh, let me just go over some things really quick. First, my first uh, question is, anybody who can pronounce this one, this word, how do you pronounce this one? Ace. No? Say Ace. it again. Ace. 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 Okay, if it is Ace. only, exactly, I heard it very good. If it is only like this, guys, this is this is singular. We'll say age, like the letter, like the letter H, H. But then if it is like with the with the S, we pronounce it like ages, 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 ages. 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 Yes, ages. Okay. Now uh, this one lately, lately. And what about this one? Lately. Guys, this one? Exciting. 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 Very good. Exciting. Exciting. Okay, good. And then we have, guys, I hear um, a mic. Okay. One microphone that is has a background. Oh. All right. Thank you so much. So then we have uh, one more here, money. How do you pronounce this one? Uh, this one, look at this one. Money. This one, uh, and this. Pursuing. 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 What is pursuing in Spanish or any synonym that you can think about? Guardar en la cartera. Perseguir. Exactly, exactly. Like you have to pursue your dreams, okay? I want to be millionaire, so pursue your dreams, okay? Pursue dreams means that you, you go after, you uh, don't give up, you keep, you know, fighting for what you want. So that's pursuing, pursuing. I'm pursuing a fight, 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 happiness. Happiness, okay. Okay, nice. We all want to be happy, <laughs> right? But that depends on you. That depends on you. You can have a lot of money. You can have, you know, Brad Pitt with you if you're a woman. And then you can have many things. But if you don't have, you know, the mental or the mindset, you're not going to be happy. I'm telling you, it's, it's a decision. It's most of the time it's a decision. All right. Now, um, based on these guys, because uh, time really flies, tell me where where and what is uh, an example of present perfect continuous in this conversation? Maybe send it on the chat or open your mic, please. What have you been doing late, darling? I've only been spending money. 
I've been okay. working. Okay. I've been, been working. Do me a I've been working. Okay. I haven't been getting any work. Mm -hmm. Okay. I okay. only been spending money. All right. Okay, I can see. So you have identified that, right? So I haven't seen you. This is the first one, right? What's the second one? The second one you said? How yes. have you been doing lately? All right, that's a question form, right? So as you can see, the first one is present perfect simple, but then what have you been doing? That's present perfect continuous. And mm -hmm. why do we know it's continuous? Because it has a very then which is the past participle. Okay, good. And we have I've been working. And what's I've next? Been next, what's next? Mm -hmm. I only I been spending money. Having only been spending money. See, there you go. And then we have another question. Hello, right? how have you been modeling? Modeling, oh, right, yeah. modeling. And we have a negative form. I haven't been doing any work. Right. Okay. Awesome. So now I have another question, guys. What do we use when we have third person in the um, in the present perfect or present perfect continuous? What do we use? Huh? Has. Um, has. I can see. Thank you, Evelyn. Evelyn sent it to me on the chat, but she sent it privately. Yes, we use has, right? Can you create one example with this word? Has. Give me one example. One uh, in present perfect continuous. She has been dancing with him. Okay, she has been dancing with him. Any other example? Ask she me. has been speaking English. All right, I like it. She's, she has been, Angie, working. Remember, working. Has Melissa been in Spain? Okay, yes, that's present perfect simple, Evelyn. Okay, ask me a question. Please ask me a question. Can you ask me a question if it, if it has? Maybe yes. Let's see. Okay. Let's see one question with has to me. Yes. Okay. Any question with has you can think about? Has she been working for many years? Mm -hmm. Has she been working for many years? Okay. Yes. Has. <laughs> I like that one, Emma. You're really smart. I, it, that's exactly what I wanted you to ask me. Okay. Has your friend traveling? Has your friend been traveling, right? Has your friend been traveling? Yeah. Uh -huh. Because he's is present perfect yeah. continuous. Exactly. All right. I like it. Any other any other example that you want to provide me with? Uh -huh. uh, there is a chat. In, there is a question in chat. Yes. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's that's the one. Have you oh, how many times have you been? Oh, there is some little mistake. What is what is a mistake? Let's I see. really don't because I don't know what happened. Do touch, touch, touch. What is the what is the past form of teach? The uh, the uh, the 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 e a u g a t. Uh -huh. So the present is teach the. The past and the past continue. The past, the past participle is uh, this one. So we say uh, teach, 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 taught. Teach, continue. The, the 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 past guys don't complicate it. And I'm telling this because a gringo told me this. You know, he said to me, "Don't say, don't complicate your life. Say taught." This is he said it to me, and he is an American. One of my friends said, "Because I had problems saying taught." No, it's taught. Like this one, look, look at this one. 
let me let me let me uh, i think i sent it only to evelyn i was texting but i texted evelyn <laughs> so so teach is the present right teach like this teach and then the past is uh this one but then the past of this verb is like we pronounce it like this guys don't complicate it taught taught teach taught <laughs> and it's, it's the same like this what is the past of the of the verb uh by the past but. of the verb exactly yes you say it like this but the past don't say both it's both both teacher oh, both. what about uh, what about cut uh cut <laughs> yeah that's a good one i like it thank but. you yeah exactly exactly this one cut i caught you <laughs> caught yeah uh you know this is the way caught caught like like this one uh this is regular uh this one is like this room for the bird bye sorry bye bye mm -hmm. which one i'm sorry the bird bye but the buy there's an oh you have we it have right it. there buy boat 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 <laughs> you have it right there okay. so teach and then we have uh bought and then we have caught okay for example i bought a car yesterday i wish right so that's bought that's the past now the question was, there was another mistake. The mistake was not this. The mistake was something different because how many times have you been, this, that's teaching actually, but then the mistake in how many times, we don't say how, how long. Yeah, you how say long? how long, how long, how long, mm -hmm. how long have you been teaching? How that's, long? that's the one, exactly. How long okay. have you been Yes, how long have you been teaching, right? So if that is a question for me or just an example, Gustavo, just an example, right? Okay, so how long have you been teaching? All right, very good. Let's see. Good, Gustavo, thank you so much. Now, uh, what else? Any other, anything else that you want to ask or add here, guys? Pressing perfect continuous, that's the way, you know, it. It, it is present perfect continuous. Now, um, what questions do you have about present perfect continuous before we move on? Questions? Mm -hmm. No questions, are we fine with this? Are you sure? Present perfect continuous, no problem. Before I move on, I want to, to make sure everybody is on the, on the same page. Please uh, send me one more example with present perfect continuous and try to make questions, affirmatives, and if it is possible, create a with, with third person, okay? And if you do, just go ahead and send me one. Think about whatever comes to your mind and send it on the chat, please. Send it on the chat. One example. I'm going to share with you the following. I know this is, maybe you already, you have already seen this. Look at the formula. This is the formula. Guys. Hmm. Has your mother been cooking last day? Maybe last day, yeah, last days. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's plural. Um, I think, yeah, she's always cooking. So she, she um, has been cooking. Yes. What else? Maybe whatever comes to your mind. So if we are 17 examples, I need to see you on the chat, 17. You can take a look at the formula here, please. And then try to follow. You know. Has 
uh -huh. has but then it have you been have you have you because you're asking a direct question us would have have you been working only here mm -hmm. right has your brother yes has your brother been training that one is really good jeffer and then stephanie change has been to have have you been working only here okay have you been working only here or has has it been traveling all the year yes has she been dancing with friends all night good good job guys i like it you know i like it because when you give me example that tells me that you are understanding the topic okay if you haven't sent your example you can ask right now you can even ask in spanish if you haven't understood Has, has she been talking with, with her sister? Okay, with this spell, has a spelling mistake. Have you been working this month? Okay, yes. Awesome, okay, that's what it is. Thank you so much. Okay, um, have you seen this video? Look, this, this is present perfect. Have you seen this video? Yes? Ya todos vieron ese video, guys? Sí? Yeah. Okay. Así no le doy play. We continue. Okay, we continue. Actually, tengo nada más tres minutos. Nada más. Um, listen, tomorrow we're going to uh, retake here. And tomorrow we start with section three. Ya no comenzaremos con la sección three. Okay. And make sure you complete all the exercises from section one and two because that is a requirement. Okay. As of now. Do you have any extra question or any any additional comment? Sure. Tomorrow we will do the activity of the story. Yes, tomorrow we will do that. Yes. Okay. Uh, and if you already did it, and if you would like to um, add the adverbs we just saw, uh, suddenly, that was the one you asked, suddenly, um, I don't know what was the, surprisingly and unfortunately, do it, please. That would be great. Tomorrow we do that and we are going to, uh, there's a reading about child prodigies. If you can read it, please read it so we can start right at once with uh, section number three tomorrow, okay? So see you guys tomorrow. Um, sure. Please keep learning and studying and and whenever you feel like as if you don't want to continue, once again, think about what motivates you and I know you're going to, you know, uh, yes? Where is the list of adjective, like suddenly? Oh, is... the list in the, that's in the platform. There's a video. Oh, okay. There's a video and, and you just need to play the video and it says adverse. And then you'll see this list of, of, of um, adverse, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Take care, guys. See you tomorrow and try to rest if you can and behave. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.